Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome! My name is Manith and I make videos all about food and drink and I basically review them every single Sunday. So if you want a piece of that, then be sure to subscribe below. So today I'm going to be looking at a brand called Nims and they aim to make healthy, delicious, authentic snacks that are healthy for children, for adults, and this varies from air drying fruit, vegetables, or both of them together. Now they are a multi award winning brand, they're vegan approved, they're halal, they're kosher approved, which is all on their packaging, which is great. I'm going to be focusing on one part of their range, which is fruit crisps. Now they do do other ranges, and this is edible teas, vegetable crisps. Uh, fruit and vegetable crisps together. So you can buy Nim's fruit or vegetable crisps from Tesco, which is where I got mine from. You can buy them from Co-op, you can buy them from Ocado, or you can also buy them from their website direct. So I haven't tried these before. I heard of the concept and I thought it was great, the fact that they're just using either vegetables or um, fruit. So one thing to note on these, these products are air dried and they're not fried. I will link all of the information about NIMS below in the description section so if you do want to find out more information about them you can do. So we've got pear fruit crisps which look like this, for the apple crisps which look like this and then the pineapple crisps which look like this. So I'm going to try the pear NIMS fruit crisps first then the apple and then the pineapple. So I have the pear fruit crisps Um, the texture, they feel very tough. They're like crisp-like texture. And the smell, the slight sweetness. I don't, you don't get that predominant pear smell. Per bag, it comes in 22 gram bag and it's 78 calories, no fat, no saturates, no salt, 2% of your vitamin C and 10 grams of sugar. But the really interesting thing is, if you look on the ingredients, it literally just says 100% fresh pear. That's it, there's nothing else in there. So that sugar is just coming from the natural sugar of the pear itself. So they're saying that you can, it's great with dips or sprinkled on cereals and yogurts, made from our very own nut, dairy and gluten free factory, which is really good. And having one of these bags is one of your five a day. So it's not bad. I'm gonna give it a try. Oh, okay. Wow. Wow. That's really nice. So as soon as I bite into it, you don't get much of the flavour. It's not a crisp crunch. It's more of a kind of a softer crunch. That's in terms of texture. But the flavour, when you first start eating it, you don't really get much. And then as soon as you can allow your saliva to just amalgamate in all of the, the crispness, it's really, it's lovely and sweet. That is so nice. You get the crunch at the crisp, you get that sweetness, and the fact that it's the natural sweetness of the pear. That's really, really nice. It's just a nice sweetness and a really, really cool texture. It's nothing, there isn't a texture out there like this. It's obviously been dried, so as soon as it hits any moisture, it's going to then release all of its flavour, and that's exactly what this does. It's really, really good. Thumbs up, 10 out of 10 from me. Made in the UK. Delicious, healthy, authentic. I think it is. It's really interesting concept. It tastes really good. I'm excited to try the other ones now. I really wish I had the kiwi one now. And the watermelon. They're the two flavours that I don't have with me. But yeah, thumbs up. Really, really good. They also have a kids range. Um, which I think is great. If you are a parent and you want to try and get your children to eat more fruit or veg, have a look at their kids range because it looks really, really good. So the second fruit crisp that I'm going to try is apple. It's got 14 grams of sugar. Pear had 10. Um, 66 calories. Mm. See, when, you know when you smell the packaging, 
They don't smell like fruit. Hmm. Only sw slight sweetness. So I'm gonna try apple one. They have the same kind of crunch sound texture feel to them. Mmm. So this one, oh. Mmm. Mmm. Wow. So again, it's just one ingredient, just the apple itself. That is really nice. This one, I feel like the texture fizzles more in your mouth. The pear takes longer to kind of get that flavour through, but... Mmm. Mmm. Wow. Wow, these are really, really good. Okay. Apple is my favourite so far. Pear is coming in second. I have a sweet tooth though, that's probably why apple's coming in first. These are really good. It's like you're eating a sweet in terms of the sweetness level. Oh, okay, so I've just noticed. Pear has got 22 grams in. Apple is 20 grams. Pineapple is 20 grams. You get two grams more in the pear. I'm very intrigued at their uh, vegetable crisps range now. Wow, that is really good, really, really good. Honestly, parents, if your kids do not eat their fruits, they will eat this, you know. So yummy. Best or last. Pineapple. <laughs> so we've got 14 grams of sugar, which is the same as the apple. Again, only using one ingredient. Oh, so cool. Oh my gosh. Oh. <laughs> I can smell pineapple. Oh my gosh. That's really odd. This one, you can smell straight away. Oh, they look like flowers. Smell sweet. Okay. I'm so excited, okay. Pineapple fruit crisps. Mm. A few moments later. Mm. Oh yeah. See the thing is with this, you have that texture, it's crisp, and then you wait about three or four seconds, that's when you get the flavour, that's when you get the apple, the pear, whichever one you're having, the pineapple. It takes time to develop in your mouth. They're ready to go in your bag. You want a snack, you feel you're hungry, you want something sweet, bam, pick up your nims, good to go. <laughs> they are different shapes and sizes, but that's down to the manufacturing process, I guess. If you haven't tried these before, I would definitely, you know, you guys should definitely try them. Like I said before, I got them from Tesco, they are three for two, they're on offer. Just get down and get and grab some. You know, they are amazing. They are so, so good. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10 from me. I'm really sorry about the audio when I was doing the review on the pineapple crisp, but I didn't realise that my mic jack, I forgot to put it back into the camera. So obviously I can't re-record it again because it's a first impression. So overall, I really liked all of the crisps. If I had to rank them, I'd rank pineapple first, then apple second, and then pear last. Pear is only last because it wasn't as sweet as the other two, and I personally really like pineapple, so that's why that came in first. So that's everything from today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up, and be sure to subscribe if you're not already. I do make new videos every single Sunday. I'm also on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook, so feel free to follow me in there as well. And yeah, that is everything. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I really appreciate it, and I'll hopefully see you all in my next video. Bye. Today, I'm going to be reviewing a band. A band. 